you call them foreigners. What is the definition of a foreigner? A foreigner is a person who comes into your country without papers, doesn't have anything to show. That includes you. You are foreigners because you have nothing to show. You go around claiming this is your country. Let's go outside, show me papers that sh confirms you are the owner of this country. There's nothing. You don't own anything. Yet you call people foreigners. You are a foreigner yourself because you do not own. Foreigners means visitors. Visitors are people who just come empty-handed with a small bag. When the time permits, they go. That's you. You are renting. You are marching from the hostels, beating up people that they must leave South Africa. Yet you do not own a hostel. You are paying a rent in that hostel. You can be removed yourself from that hostel. You are telling people to leave your country. You come from an apartment. You come from a flat. You come from a house. You have no paper. When you return back home, after taking out Zimbabweans, the white man will be at the door showing you the way out of the rented flat, out of the rented house, out of the rented apartment. You have nothing to show. Yet you claim this is your country. You have nothing. You are defending a white man's property. This South Africa is owned by a white man. This South Africa is controlled by the white man. Don't tell me this is your country. When people are burning buildings, you are rushing, protecting them. Those are not your buildings. Those are white men's building. You have nothing. Stop hating on your future employers. These people are going to hire you. They are the most polite people. Even when they are educated, they still work for small jobs that pay nothing. They, are not, they don't have pride. They know that you have to work to serve and feed your families. That's why they are here. One day, like it almost happened in Cuba, when Obama wanted to lift the embargo against Cuba, one day it is going to happen. I pray to the ancestors of the revolution that it happens when I'm still alive, so that I can replay these videos and say, I want you about harassing your future employers. I want you about exploiting the people who are going to share their land with you because they've done it before. Why didn't Mugabe take the land immediately? He waited for you to get your freedom. Because had Mugabe take the land immediately, it would have caused a serious problem to a point where South Africa will not be liberated. They were a frontline state. They gave us a passage. They accommodated us. We stayed in their homes. They gave us food. They gave us shelter. They never called us names. Today it's our turn to say thank you. We become animals. It is not the spirit of Ubuntu what you are doing to these comrades of Zimbabwe. Comrades, the white people, the way they control us, we love them and we say they give us jobs. But the way they've made us to hate each other, even if a Nigerian was to come here and create 100,000 jobs, you will still beat that Nigerian because you want 100,000 jobs provided by a white man. When it is a job provided by a black man, it's not a job enough. They've instilled in you a culture of self-hate. 
you lack confidence in black people because you are not confident yourself. So, it is not correct that all Nigerians are drug dealers. They are Nigerian drug dealers. We must find them. We must deal with them decisively. We must isolate them. We must isolate them and teach them a lesson which they will never forget so that they don't leave South Africa to go and try it somewhere else, particularly in the African continent. We do not dispute that they are drug 